guys, I'm Ro. And I'm Renegade. And we're going to be talking to you about all things epic. Woo! We're going to have a good day. So today we're starting off with Star Wars. Star Let's, Wars. It's, it's a pretty good movie. It's amazing. Well, it's amazing. Mo they're amazing movies. And we're going to start off specifically with the bromance between Obi-Wan and Anakin. Come on, guys. You all know it's there. <laughs> Here's a little clip for you. Okay. You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. And wow, that is basically why the third movie is my favorite. Happy, Happy New Year! Shit! Ah! Yes. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to get 100% on Assassin's Creed campaign. Well, it's it's, it's like it's never been done. I'm fairly sure. You know, feel free to write down below, Rogue. You're an idiot. I've actually got it. I've actually done it. I've actually done it. And you're just sucking at gaming, and you're such a noob star. But what um, is your New Year's resolution, Renegade? Well, I've actually had a little bit of sad news for you guys. Um, my Xbox 360 had a little bit of a you know, spiff. And, a spiff. Um, <laughs> What's a spiff? I'm not being a very so smart friend. I got some red rings. So my uh, New Year's resolution is to get it fixed and to get up and running again and get on some reach. I'm actually currently using Liv. But <laughs> since it is the new year we, and it's a new decade, so we are what? Ringing in the new year with awards, aren't we? So, we're going to start them off Sorry about that. with um, some, yes, some awards. Some awards. Definitely. For the to, passing Just year. for gaming, for the passing year, and maybe even the passing, like, you know, 10 years, and the passing decade. Here are the awards, starting off with... Protagonist. Protagonist. Favourite protagonist. All the games that came out in 2010. This was her this choice. Was, we're bumping between yeah, choices here. We're, we're so. going to pass between the awards. So this one was a little hard, although, okay, I'm just going to go right out and say it. I am a Halo fanatic. Fanatic. So, I chose Master Chief. In Halo Charles. 1, 2, and 3. I thought he was quite good. He had his little suit of armor. He was the boss. He fell from space. And wasn't injured. But he can't swim. Yeah. Drown in like nothing. I mean, if they like took a shower, they would die. It's like, It'd be like, like, boom! Like, kill joy. Suicide. Yeah. Suicide. That's just terrible. That's just so pathetic. Suicide isn't good kids. <laughs> it's never the option. No. Call kids helpline. I don't know the number, but call them. Now that we've discussed that, I got the pick of antagonist, and I had to say... My choice of antagonist was Sarah Kerrigan from StarCraft 1 and 2. Look, she's so epic, and I think just the fact that, like, in one of the trailers, Zeratul slices off her wing and just grows it back, it's just amazing. So she's my favourite <laughs> pick just because she's epic, and she's my favourite e easily out of all antagonists. Okay. I just have to say it. Alright, next award moving on is the saddest death. There's a bit of a backstory behind this so we've one, got kids. A <laughs> we've got a little bit of a story here. So, um, uh... Rogue and I were playing some Halo 3. Back in the day. So there's this Marine there sitting and he starts describing the flood and he starts breaking out. Like, ah! Yeah. Like and they were everywhere. They're, They're crawling cool. under your skin. So we thought, you know, we put him out of his put misery. Put him out of his misery. Started to beat him to death. So that, that was... He put up a bit of a fight. And no, we chased him down. We, okay. we hunted him down. Jimmy is now dead. And Jimmy is dead. But looking back, it's fairly sad. See. Hoorah. 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 No, so we miss Jimmy. No, he's not. Moving on! Crazy the rah, rah. So, and then it was my <laughs> choice to pick the favourite sidekick of all time, or for the past decade at least. And this is probably going to be debated again, but my mm -hmm. favourite sidekick was easily Yoshi. Now, yes. just so we all know, Luigi isn't a sidekick, okay? He's his brother, and I, honestly, I think that Luigi and Mario are pretty tight. Like but they're brothers. I think they're brothers. I think in, in my mind they're kind of on the same level. He's got his like Yoshi was my favourite, mainly because I grew up playing, you know, Yoshi's Island, and you had to save baby Mario. Mm -hmm. Which leads me to believe that Yoshi's really, really old. But also that he's really epic at the same time. Well, he's a dinosaur, so of course. Is he? I thought he was a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> <laughs> Our next award goes to a love to hate a love game. love to hate game. Now, um, this again goes back to me, and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the old school Super Smash Brothers Melee, and one of them was a target test. So I don't know if you guys have, you know, played that kind of thing. And it was, it was fine. It was easy, and you, you know, hit the targets. But then it got to that one little character called Young Link. Young Link's target test. He was a bitch. You a never bitch. finished it, did you? I never ever completed that level because they dropped you in a little box, and you'd have to jump your way out. That I never figured out. How Would to you do say it. that it's like the impossible? most impossible thing? Would it's, you say it's trying to get like a hundred percent on <clears throat> Assassin's Creed? Would you say it's like? You could never ever do it. I don't think anyone. Oh no. Well, I have a happy New Year's present for you, showing you that you fail at life. That's really kind. So watch on, my friends. She fails at life. Here you go. 
She just doesn't like being proven wrong, poor girl. And it was amazing. Did you see him? He was jumping all over the place. Jumping. You were just jealous because you couldn't do it. Honestly, I don't even know half the stuff he did. I was like, wait, where did his boomerang go? Yeah, he's just like dropping bombs in oh, It was crazy. crazy. Now is our favourite love to hate character. Character. It's my choice. I had to say Diddy Kong. He Mainly because he was like, it was like, oh, well, Donkey Kong has Donkey Kong Country. And, you know, I guess because he has his own game, we should give him, like, a, a sidekick. Kick. But they give him this re weird, like pre-pubescent like little okay. monkey with a hat and because in brawl because i have brawl like i just hate him as a character because it's just it's just crap like he's super smash there's ah, like little peanuts coming out of his ass peanuts, and he's just like yeah i'm flying around and i'm shooting you with peanuts it's like oh my Definitely god i have a peanut allergy what am i gonna do ah <laughs> him just mainly just because i find him just so such an unnecessary addition to like the mario pack hey nonetheless there you go all right. It is up to you now. And Going back on, and we are doing the best trailer best for trailer. a 2010 game that came out. So, oh. hands down, Brotherhood. Oh, the Brotherhood trailer. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Oh. And here's a little snippet for you guys. Goosebumps. That trailer was the guy with the mace who comes up and he has his little banner across his face. He's got his little like completely black like, of the face so. and his leggings are like black and white striped and he just casually just goes foot boom. Okay, so I agree, Brotherhood was that epic. Is, that is all good. Okay, all good. Next, next, next award. Next is our favorite species. This is a bit confusing, but it could be like you know aliens or like covenant blood. Covenant, yeah, the blood, anything, stuff like that. But my <laughs> choice Halo. when I thought about it, yeah, of course you list Halo. <laughs> my favorite. Because I grew up with it was Pokemon. Okay. Seriously, like there's nothing that would make what? a better child than like attacking small animals Your childhood was and so catching them up. and then like making them fight other animals. <laughs> no, but Pokemon is my favorite just because it's epic and also because like it just all the characters keep recurring and I think that Red, the initial you know Pokemon character, Red, blue, and green. Red, like, Red been, was pretty much. He was being converted to Ash, but he was way cooler in the game just because he's epic. He's like he's such a bamf. I love Red. But that's that Pokemon. It is. Okay, moving on, the next award is Game to Movie. Yes. Yeah. The thing that I would love to most go into movie, if, you know, future progressed and we got a little bit more interactive with Interactive movies, with movies, definitely. Would be Fable 2. Fable 2. If you could choose your own path, then the movie yes, would be Yes, and if you could choose to be, like, evil or good. What would be cool is if, like, you had your own little, like, capsule, and then at the end it would show, like... That's really social of you. <laughs> you don't go to the movies to Let's be go social, to the though. <laughs> go to the movies to be that social. Was a good movie, hey? <laughs> go to the movies to be social. Moving Game on. Movie is our... We, this is an award that both of us got to choose because it was such a big category. It is our fave 2010 release yes. of a game. I'll start... It's pretty obvious because I waited 10 years for the sequel and like, the second one is StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. Mm. I love the campaign. I finished that in like a day and a half. Like, I love how... <laughs> shut up. in your room. I just said, no, I didn't just... Go away, sing. mom. <laughs> shut up. It was the holidays, okay? What else am I going to do? I, so I geeked out on the campaign. I love how they've revamped Battle.net. I love... Like some of the custom maps that people have made, they're amazing, they're so good, and it's just so compelling, and I'm so excited. Make no mistake, war is coming with all its glory and all its horror. StarCraft 2 for PC and Macintyre. And what's your favorite 2010 release? Okay, a 2010 release. Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. Ooh. So that came out, it was pretty interesting, although this comes with a condition because the campaign was a little short. Okay. But it definitely Star Wars Force Unleashed, I mean the little animations that you get in between, you know, like taking down chicken walkers and the force push and the force pull and you know, battling that giant monster in the arena thing was just amazing. Uncertain your future is. Find yourself. You must. <laughs> Two. 
So that is basically our 2010 favorites and awards. Our next segment, which was more epic, the which Halo, more epic. the Halo clip about. or the COD clip. And because we'll be fair, you get to you get to decide. You get to decide. Decide down below in comments. The comments down below. You know how many times he's like pointed. Down we, we just keep pointing down. There's gonna be a whole lot of shit down there. There's just gonna. <laughs> Just read through just, it. Just read. These yes. two clips will be combating against each other for which is more epic. Halo and a COD, COD clip today. And the Halo clip is Armor Love Battle. The Armor Love Battle. Yes. That was. Here you go! COD video and it is a crossbow win slash knifing fail. Here it is! <laughs> so that's it for today's video guys. Um subscribe and subscribe up there comment and you comment can comment down on below rogue's face click on my face that's that's also that's a nice to way. watch the subscribe and to watch to the watch. subscribe that doesn't make sense nope click on my face to subscribe and here click on renegade's face to watch the literal assassin's creed brotherhood trailer thanks to tabuscus which will come up in the farewells so until oh. then stay safe and stay epic stay epic may the force may be, the with, force you. be with you